happening there hat folks g the hat guy here i'm back with another awesome hat video for you uh this is the continuation of the series on how to put hat and shoe combinations together okay and this video is just intended like the other few videos to kind of give you insights and ideas on how to put hat and shoe combinations together for your wardrobe and your closet okay um so you know whether you know based on the uh the hats and shoes you currently have you know in your closet uh, or you're looking at trying to purchase new stuff, you know, uh, for the season or those type of things, you know, uh, new hats and new shoes. Uh, and you're wondering how to put that together. Hopefully you can kind of learn something and gain some new insights and ideas on how to do that or kind of improve on that. If you're already doing stuff like that, maybe on how to improve and enhance, you know, that whatnot, or, or just give you insights, you know, whatnot. And like I said, uh, some enlightenment and insights on, you know, how, uh, you know, maybe certain things that you were not aware of before. So hopefully by the time you watch the video to the end, you know, uh, you find the video very helpful and, and gain something of value from that. So, uh, the title of this video is newsboy caps, fedora hats, and driving caps can be worn with wingtip and chucker boots etc for fall slash autumn okay so let's get right into it okay uh let's see here the first one that i have here for you matter of fact let me take a look here uh one second bear with me here let me grab these here yeah these are real on the floor so i had to grab these here okay if you got these nice uh, Chelsea boots here, you know, I'm a big uh, shoe fan and hat fan. You know, if you watch some of the previous videos on on the hats, hat and shoe combination videos, whatnot series, uh, you know, I sell hats. Again, this G the hat guy, I sell hats, you know, hat retailer. And I also uh, uh, make hats. I'm a huge hat fan, et cetera. I've uh, been in the hat business for several years now as a hat retailer. Uh and, uh, you know, I'm also a big shoe fan, you know, I'm really into shoes. I don't sell shoes as a retailer, but I, I'm into shoes, you know, uh, I said maybe, you know, kind of more into hats a little bit, just a little bit more than shoes, but I'm, you know, uh, <laughs> I will say I, I, I somewhat used to be a, a, a shoe fanatic, whatnot, but I'm still really into shoes as well so uh, hats and shoes are my thing you know uh, it's all about the accessories so th these are uh very nice uh chelsea style boots you know she's got the elastic goring right there on the side okay that's the uh the chelsea style design it's got that loop your heel loop there kind of for your finger and it kind of help you if you don't have a shoe horn to get the shoes on stretch it you know that type of thing get your get your feet in there um and uh, this has got the nice rubber lug sole there. You know, this is Chelsea style. You know, they call it Chelsea style because, again, when it's got the elastic uh, goring band there on both sides there, okay, that's the Chelsea style boot. That's what these are called, okay. Chelsea, some of them have the dress sole. You see, this has, has more of a casual sole, uh, the lug sole. What. Now, something like this, you might be able to get away with certain types of dress pants. You know, this is not supposed to be formal look. They have some that are dressier. They have more of a leather sole. Those are with the dressy uh, look. But this one has more of a uh, dress casual, you know. So it's, uh, you know, it's got the rubber lug sole. Something like this you can wear in the wintertime, in the fall, of course. Early spring, you know. Um, very nice leather. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so something like this would be good with jean combination you could do. You know, a sweater, you know, um, uh, certain, uh, you could do a uh, chino khaki pants, you know, with this, that's nice and, you know, has a nice clean, uh, 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 refreshing dress, casual type look to it. You know, you can wear with this, like I said, with, as far as a suit, I would not wear this with a suit. Uh, but you might be able to get away with certain dress pants that are not too formal looking, Okay, a uh, pair of dress pants that's not too formal looking, you'd be able to get away with something like this as well. Um, so if you're looking for more of a dressier look for this kind of shoe style, the Chelsea boot, 
then I suggest you go with something that's got uh, that's got the uh, the leather sole, you know, or or maybe like a clean rubber sole that's that's you know that's similar to a leather sole that's got a you know just a smooth clean uh, sole, you know, that's got a dressy uh, look to it. You see what I mean? They do have some rubber ones out there, but typically your leather sole shoes are the ones that uh, that uh, will have that. Uh, but yeah. So there you go right there. Something like this, you know, you can easily put together with, uh, you know, different types of hats. You know, you see, put this. This is a wool. Uh, this is a wool short brim hat. Okay. Uh, sun a dent, two pictures in the front. You know, this is a shorter brim for door. You know, this one is probably about an inch. Uh, Maybe about an inch five eighths brim, you know, inch three eighths somewhere around there. Brim, it is wool. Okay, you can tell by his wool if you're if you if you've been uh, involved with hats for some time, you know, just by looking at the material, you can tell that it's wool on this one here. It's got a contrast color band on it. That band, that tan, uh, uh, bronzish light light bronze band that he has on there, kind of give it something different. It's got a cloth sweatband on the inside. But yeah, whatever hat you have, you know, in this combination, you could do, like I said, wool. You know, if you want, you could do fur felt. You know, definitely this is a fall, winter, and early spring when it's still cold kind of boot. You know, I mean, there are people that wear boots in the summertime, right? You know, so if you are, you know, I don't see why you can't wear these boots all year round. If you're really into boots like that. You know, like folks that wear cowboy boots and stuff all year round type of thing. Why not? You know, you could wear it all year round, you know. Uh, but I'm saying if, you, if you're if you not really into wearing boots like during the summertime, you know, because of the heat, you know, whatnot, uh, then, yeah, you know, this would be more of a, uh, of a uh, fall, winter, and uh, early spring type of thing when it's still, you know, slightly cold, you know, uh, whatnot, uh, maybe till around that you know, April, you know, March, April, you know, around that March, early April, depending on where you're located, you know, weather's different in certain places, you know, whatnot. So uh, some places in April till like June, they're still getting snow, you know, maybe upwards of like places like Canada or something like that, you know, uh, in uh, May and June, even in the U.S., certain parts of the U.S., you know, uh, and I'm assuming the same might be true for parts of uh, Europe, you know, maybe even Latin America, you know, et cetera. So, um, but yeah, so this is what you were looking at. Uh, you know, you could do something like this. That would be a nice combination. Uh, you know, you can do, I've got a leather uh, driving cap. This is a soft general leather uh, uh, driving slash ivy style cap. This is a European made in Italy cap. You know, in the black. Okay. Uh, you could do something like this. Like that too. That's a nice look. Again, you could do a black sweater. You could do like a charcoal gray sweater. Have a shirt underneath. V-neck, round neck sweater. Uh, again, you could do jeans, chinos. Uh, certain types of dress pants that's not too formal. You know, dress pants that's not too formal looking. You can do with this combination as well. Why not? All right. Um. So, yeah, there's several uh, varieties of, uh, you know, combination that you can put together with something like this. Uh, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, very nice uh, combination that you can put together for something like that. So, put on your uh, your leather jacket to match that, that cap right there, too. You know, you're good to go, right? You know, for the fall and the winter time. You know, um, you know, you can also do, uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you can do a uh, fur felt. I've got a fur felt fedora here. Yeah, this is a European style fur felt fedora. Okay, you can see the difference between that and the wool. You can tell, again, if you're a hat person, you, you have different types of hats. You're really into hats like that. You can tell the, by just by looking at it. You know, this is a nice fur felt rabbit uh, uh, European uh, fur felt mix here. Got a nice black hat band, multicolor band on it. 
you know, it's got that lining, leather sweatband. You know, the brim on this one is about two and a quarter inch or so on this one. Yeah, so not too wide. It's got that raw edge brim on, on there. Yeah, so you can do that with, with this, you know, that that go really nice. See that look right there? Again, you can do your jeans, you know, if you want to do a shirt, sweater, certain types of pants, you know, you could do black pants if you want. You could do like a dark charcoal gray uh, pants or dark charcoal jeans. Uh, I would go as far as jeans goes, like uh, more on the, on the darker washes, you know. Uh, like the the lighter, very light washes of jeans, I would not recommend for this look. I would go with something, you know, definitely that something that has a wash, or if you want to go with like a solid color, maybe like a dark blue jeans, you know, uh, from top to bottom, that's fine too. Uh, but yeah, I'll go for something that's got a wash in it, you know, on the darker side though, not so much on the lighter side, you know, um, yeah, on the lighter side of blue will be too bright. So I'll go for something that'll kind of complement the darker colors on this, as far as jeans goes, you know, not to say that you can't wear the, uh, lighter washes, but, you know, I think the dark, darker color washes would, would go better with, with this black combination, you know, whatnot. So, uh, but yeah see and there's your look right there you know it's got a nice fedora hat with the chelsea boot you know you see that that's gorgeous right it's a nice gorgeous look you know you got your if you want to do your jeans your pants you know chinos whatever you want to do and then your sweater on top or your shirt do a dress shirt you know a uh, plain solid color shirt you know uh i mean there's several combinations you can do you can do a black shirt if you want Maybe do dark charcoal pants, you know, uh, you could do jeans. If you want to do all black from top to bottom, you could do that as well, you know. But I always kind of suggest breaking up the color, you know. Doing the same color from top to bottom is kind of boring, you know. Uh, it's good to at least break it up either with the pants that you're going to wear, you know, or with the shirt that you're going to wear or with the sweater that you're going to wear, you know, break up the color so that way you don't look... You know, you don't look like a light bulb from top to bottom, you know, kind of add just one color mix at least in there to kind of break it up, makes it more interesting. You see what I mean? So, yeah, there you go with that look right there. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. Let's see what else I got for you here. Uh, folks, if you're learning something, you're gaining something, I appreciate you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow the channel. The channel is growing. I appreciate that. All the subscribers, all the viewers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time here on the uh, G the Hat Guy channel. Bear with me. I had to put those boots on the ground here. If you're used to my videos by now, you know, I'm recording with one hand and I'm handling the the hats and stuff with uh, the other hand. So that's my current setup. So bear with me. I'm just trying to make it happen for you all with this content. OK, um, yeah. Follow me on Instagram. Is that G the Hat Guy? We have a uh, Facebook hat group. It's a social hat group where you can uh you know, we share stuff on there. We share hat collection, shoe collection. Different people share their stuff. You can let me see your hat and shoe combinations, how you put your own hat and shoe combinations together for your wardrobe. That would be nice to kind of see. Don't be a voyeur. Be a participator, not a, not, a, um, not a spectator is what I say, okay? Be a participator, not a spectator. So you can post your own pictures. Send me a request. The name of the group is the Hatters Get the hatter's lounge by g the hat guy again that's the hatter's h-a-t-t-e-r-s l-o-u-n-g-e by g the hat guy the name same name as the channel the hatter's lounge by g the hat guy search for that on facebook it's a private hat group once you search for it, you find that's a private group you send me your request you join the group uh and uh before you send a request you have to agree to the rules real simple rules no spam that kind of stuff you know, you check the agree box. Let me know what are some of your favorite hats. You know, you just type that in there. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll review your, your stuff. And, you know, you join the group. You can post your own pictures. You can post your own hat and shoe combinations. You know, when you're stepping out, you know, you're wearing your hats and wearing your shoes with your clothing, your ensembles, your outfits. You can post that on there as well. Okay. Like I said, no spam. And you got to respect the group. You know, there are rules like anything else in society and everything. No spam. You know, be good. It's a social friendly group. You know, none of that other stuff that's going on out there. So, um, what else? Uh, yeah. 
So let me get back to the video here. The next uh, shoe I want to show you. Let's see. I got something. Look at that, man. Look at that right there. That's bad. That's stone cold, ain't it? Yeah, that, that's that's really, really bad right there. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I have these here. And, you know, I'm not promoting any particular brands here, man. I'm just, it's all about the merchandise for me, you know. So, uh, any brands that want to promote their stuff, you can reach out to me in the comment section or through the hat group, you know, um, or on Instagram at G the Hat Guy. Send me a direct message and we can talk. Okay, this is a nice wingtip boot here. She's got a combination of that uh, tweed type wool, right? You see that? Nice European tweed type wool on there. Okay, wingtip. By now, you know I'm a huge fan of wingtips. If you've seen the last few videos about hat and shoe combinations, you know I'm a huge wingtip fan. I, I, I've said that. Uh, huge, you know, medallions, huge wingtip, medallion design with a combination. So this is a combination of wool and um leather okay it's got that log sole again okay and uh it's got a leather lining on the inside there it's got that piping that piping that i talk about around the top there you know to kind of taper it off make it have it a nice clean luxury look you know it's got the lace-ups on there okay so these are the nice uh european wingtip boots it's a leather and tweed wool combination there you see that very nice you know solid boot something like this again you can do with this yeah you can do with this with a wool hat okay yeah nice combination something different again you can do if you want to do your sweater you know jean combinations you know there are multiple options for this you know that you can do as well chinos you know as far as your pants sweat on top or solid color shirt or plaid shirt on the top you can do uh black coat when you put on your your fall and winter coat you could do a leather coat if you want you could do a wool coat it would be it would be a good option as well okay and of course with the fur felt hat got that with the fur felt hat and that's a nice combination there too you know several uh you know several options you can do with that there see um let's see here uh yeah bring that to the light back to the light here uh, but yeah you see that that's a nice nice combo you got your fur felt fedora you know with that wingtip boot there with the wheel uh tweed wool on there okay again uh you know this is more of a casual dress look this is not a uh, formal look so i don't recommend this with a with a suit you know you could do jeans nice clean chinos that's that's got some dressy look to it uh you know in black you could do or in a nice uh uh khaki color you you can probably do with it you know as well like on a darker khaki side darker shade of khaki color you know uh and then uh what else like i said certain dress pants you can you can wear with this uh yeah so there you have that Again, this is G the Hack Guy. You know, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, again, it's all about trying to give folks ideas on what's possible. You know, as far as your hat and shoe combinations. You know, I'm a huge fan of hats, huge fan of shoes as well. And uh, hopefully, you can learn something beneficial from these videos with the hat and shoe uh, series. You know, on... Uh, you know, how to put hat and shoe combinations together or, you know, gain some, uh, if you're currently, bear with me here, folks, I'm trying to put this box down. If you're currently into that, you know, into hats and shoes, you know, putting your hats and shoe combinations together, you can enhance on how to do that. You know, you can maybe take it to the next level or something, you know, uh, 
It doesn't matter what type of shoe, if it's a high-end shoe or, you know, uh, a shoe that's not uh, high-end. Me personally, I'm not really big on a lot of designer stuff. Uh, you know, some of the stuff I wear, are they designer? Maybe, you know, I, I don't wear a lot of the big designer names that you wear. I, I wear probably the medium chain type design, what I call the medium chain, not like the high, high end chain. And I get really good deals on the stuff that I, you know, uh, you know, that I uh, purchase, you know, even though at this point I don't really, you know, purchase you know, anything anymore, really tell you the truth, man, because I got a ton of stuff already, so, there you go from the last, uh, several years, you know, what now, so, um, but here, here is some nice, uh, hiking, hiking, uh, casual hiking, hiker boots, okay, see that in the dark navy, very nice, it's got the leather, uh, uh, sleeve around the neckline there, okay, it's got leather, so leather insole, Leather lining and insole there. Okay. Something like this. You know, you can do with a dark, uh, with a dark navy beret. This is a dark navy beret. You know, you wear your coat with it. You can do dark navy coat, you know, uh, or uh, even a black coat you can do with this, um, you know, sweater. You could do a navy sweater do some jeans uh or if you want to do uh chinos some nice clean chinos on the darker side you know color you can do that as well you can do uh you know navy chinos if you want you know just change up the color on the top you know don't so everything is not same color from top to bottom it's not all matchy matchy you know uh you can wear a solid shirt with this uh this is a casual look you know what not uh more of a casual type look. You can do a beret, like I said. You know, you can do just a sweater on top and then change up, maybe do like a chino or jeans in the bottom, you know. Again, to kind of create some color uh, contrast in your combination there. So everything is not all the same all the time. I talk about that quite a bit. Here's another one you can do, you know, like a newsboy style cap, you know, okay. Uh, in the dark navy, she's got the button. It's got the print imprinted panels on there. You know, you can do that with this as well. You see, that's another nice combination there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Also, you can do your uh, your driver's cap. This is a dark navy driver's cap. Okay, you can do a driver's. This is a corduroy cap. Corduroy driver's cap. You can do a driver's cap as well. You know, driving cap. You know, we see that in the dark navy. That's another good combination. Like I said, you know, chinos, uh, you know, jeans, uh, cargo pants, you know, casual style cargo pants. You can do, you know, you can do a navy coat. You know, uh, it's what I recommend with this. You can probably do a black coat to kind of you know, maybe break things up a little bit as well, you know. Uh, yeah, so there's several different options you can do with something like this. But, yeah, uh, these are nice, uh, nice ones, uh, whatnot. It's your European-style hiker, uh, hiker uh, boots, uh, whatnot, casual. Sneaker boots is what these are. You know, so. Yeah, definitely. Very nice. Got the rubber sole. You know, the lug rubber sole on there. Yeah, so there you go on that one there. Uh, and then. What else I got for you? I think I got one more. Uh, pair of shoes for you here. Let's see to check out. Take a look here. See what we have here. Just a second, bear with me here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, folks, if you uh, 
If you're enjoying the video, you're getting some knowledge, you're getting some new insights and enlightenment, you're getting some new ideas, you're getting some value. That's the whole purpose of this video is to give you some value, some insights, some enlightenment. Hopefully you learned something. Subscribe to the channel. I've got more great, awesome hat content coming. Okay. Uh, you know, about hats and shoes, about hats. You know, I've done a lot of stuff about just hats alone, but I'm kind of mixing it up. This is a new series because, again, I'm into shoes as well. So trying to show you how to put hat and shoe combinations together. G, the hat guy. I'm a hat retailer, hat connoisseur. You know, I make hats as well, being in the hat business for the last several years. Subscribe, share with somebody who you think might enjoy this kind of content, is into hats and shoes. Uh, also engage in the comment section, say hello, say what's happening, G, that kind of thing. Talk to them in the, in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking and, uh, subscribe to check out our Facebook hat group. Okay. It's a social hat group where you can share your own pictures. Let me see your hat and shoe combination. It's called the Hatter's Lounge by G, the hat guy. Again, it's the Hatter's H-A-T-T-E-R-S Lounge, L-O-U-N-G-E by G, the hat guy. Check out the Hatter's Lounge by G, the hat guy on Facebook. Search for it. Once you find it, it's a private hat group, send me your request to join the group. You agree to the terms, the rules of the group. Really simple, no spam, that type of stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, we want some positive folks on there. Uh, and then uh, you agree to the terms. You check the little box. Let me know what kind of hats are some of your favorite hats to wear. Once I get your request, I'll add you to the group. You can post your own pictures of your own hat and shoe combinations on it. How do you style your outfits with your hats and shoes? Let me see that. You can post it on there. Don't be a voyeur, okay? Be a participator. Participate. Don't just watch other people post pictures and stuff like that, okay? Post your own pictures. We want to see. We want people who are going to participate, not just spectators, okay? So post your own pictures. Let people see your stuff. Comment on other people's stuff. Like other people's pictures. That kind of, if you see stuff that you like, okay? If you see stuff that you like, you know, like and engage. Comment, like it, let people know. You know, people are going to do the same thing for yours as well, so... So that's what we want in the group, okay? Uh, the Hat is Lounge by G, the Hat Guy. Check it out on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, um, like I said, um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's move on to this other uh, shoe here. What now? Yeah, these are uh, another nice uh, nice pair here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Um, Bear with me here, folks. Uh, you know, I'm trying to handle the the shoes with one hand and, you know, filming with another hand. So bear with me. So something like this you can do with your newsboy cap. See that? Nice combination you could do with jeans. You know, a darker shade of jeans with a darker wash or, or a, light, a little bit of lighter, not too light wash. You know, you could do on this. Very nice, you know. If you have a coat to match that, like a wool coat, that cap is a wool cap, you know, a wool newsboy style cap. That's called a hawker with this particular brand, you know, but it's a, basically a newsboy cap. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so you could do chinos with this, you know, like a darker shade of chinos, uh, you know, in that darker tan or uh, side, you know, khaki color. Uh, of course, you might be able to do certain types of dress pants with this as well. You can, I'm going to recommend this with a suit, okay? But certain types of dress pants, you know, because this is more of a dress casual boot. You know, it's got that lug sole, that rubber lug sole on there, you see? Uh, yeah, so, and this is suede. So, I'm going to recommend this with a, uh, this is not a dressy, formal type boot. They have some. They have the uh, the leather soles, you know, more of your uh, your uh, your dressy type look. See, yeah, you see that's got the leather lining on the inside there. I'm trying to show you, uh, trying to get the inside. Yeah, but it's got the leather lining on the inside there, uh, as you can see here, and then uh, yeah, suede said medium navy color. You know, rubber lug sole. See that? Ready there. Yeah, so that go really good with that cat. It's a nice combination right there. That's bad. You know, or you can do 
Let's see here. Uh, what else? To do something like this. Ivy. This driving cap. Ivy driving cap. With it. If you have something that's close in that color as well, you can do that. You know. Like I said, folks, uh, when you uh, join the hat group, post your own pictures. Let me see what you got. How do you put your hat and shoes together for your outfits? Okay, I like to see that, too. Again, it's the Hatters Lounge by Jeep the Hat Guy. If you're learning something, you're gaining something, you're enjoying the content, subscribe to the channel. Okay, I invite you, encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow the channel. We've got more great, awesome content coming. If you like this kind of content, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I've got more awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, I've got more awesome stuff coming your way. We've got what we call the hat travels. You know, I'm not going to speak too much on some of the other things I have in the works because, uh, yeah. So, but you know, surprise, you know, I've got certain, certain things that's coming, but we've got hat travels. We're going to be bringing you very unique content from all over the country about hats, you know, very soon. I just need to find some time to escape so I can go get the content and bring it to you. Okay. So stay Stay with me. You know, folks who have been watching my videos for some time, you know, I've been talking about hat travels and it's coming. Okay. It's coming. Just stay tuned. Okay. Uh, so yeah, here's another combination with the Ivy you can do. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's all I have for you guys for this video, man. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you gained some new insights. Until the next video coming your way, this is G the Hat Guy. Subscribe to the channel. Like to the video with a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.